All right, what's up, YouTube? Today we are going to show you. I am going to show you how to do this awesome professional glossy logo, clean professional glossy logo. All right. So what we're wanting to do is go to file. Let's get on the road because it's pretty long. All right. We'll go to file, new. Change the width to 10 24. Height to 1024, pixels, pixels, and then hit OK. All right. So show. So what we are wanting to do is go and go to our gradient tool. All right. Then this, then this top, top thing will pop up, and you will want to click the bar, that little bar thing. And then these things right here are called stops. You want to click the first stop. And change the color to a darker, like a light, but not too light gray. And what I, to make it exactly like mine, you want to go to B, 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 B. Okay. And then once you finish your first stop, go to your second stop. And then your second stop is a really light gray. Is a really light gray, and our and the very like, and the hex code for that is E E E E E, all the way. Okay. Once you do that, hit OK. Alright, now what you want to do is go to go to the very bottom of the canvas, go to the bottom of the canvas, go up, hit shift, make sure it's straight, and then boom. The gradient tool does its magic and it pulls this to the whole background gray. Alright, now what you want to do is go to, now you want to hit control R or command R to get these rulers. What you want to do with these rulers is put them in the middle. It'll pretty much lock itself in place, but you still need to put it there. Alright. Once you get those, you'll go down to the ellipse tool and go to the middle and zoom out. I mean, go out. Hit shift alt and that'll do that. And you'll just go pretty big, not too big though. And then I'll do that. Alright. Once it does that, you're wanting you want to go to this box right here, to the top layer like we did with the gradient tool, and go all the way to the right, or not all the way, but right here, and then go to path operations and go to subtract front shape. Okay. Now with the subtract front shape, you want to go. You want to change it to a subtract front shape, and then what you want to do is Control J or duplicate layer to duplicate the layer so we can do this to make this subtract front shape and then now put it in the middle make sure it's on the copy go over here shift alt and just put it pretty close out to the edge but right there let go and it'll show an outline that's not all though now we'll want to go down come back up here and go to new layer and this is for the last one all right, now what we want to do is go to, now what we want to do is copy it once, I mean duplicate it once again, and just pull out central shift, I mean alt shift, and then boom, right there. Delete this. You don't have to, I don't know if it did that for you or not, but that's what you want to do. And then now you want to go to the middle, the ellipse, one copy, and double click it to pull up the blending options. Alright. Now what you want to do is enter inner shadow, gradient overlay, and drop shadow. And that puts a weird looking thing around. All right, now what you want to do is go to your inner shadow to start it off. Go to... You want to make this normal. Change the color to pure white and 100 opacity. Alright, once you do that, now you're done with the inner shadow and now you want to go to your gradient overlay. What you, you want to do for your gradient overlay is just change your gradient and go to your first stop, click this, and now you want to change the hex code to D3, D3, D3. Okay, click. Now you're done with that. Now you're done with your first stop. Now you want to go to your second stop, hit this, and now it's 
Now you want to change it to EA, EA, EA. Grades are really easy to remember, so it should be easy. Alright, once you're done with that, you want to click OK. Now when you're done with your gradient overlay, you'll want to go down to your drop shadow. What you want to do here is just change your size to 25. And now you're good. Now what you want to do is copy the eclipse copy, I mean copy the layer style of the eclipse copy one. Come up to the top one and paste the layer style. There, now it will show a nice circle. Now it will show a nice circle in the center. Alright, now what you want to do with that circle is... I mean, now what you want to do is go to... Down here, click this, and change it to a nice green. The green I used was... 21D22D. That's the hex code that I'm using. Alright, now what you want to do is go to your text. And what you want to change it to is horizontal type mask. Okay, now you just click over here and type in G3. Alright, now hit hold and control and move it. Or you don't have to hold and control yet, but put it in the middle or whatever. Whatever you want to do. And now what you want to do is hit control and now just drag it drag it out to the right until you see a little bit green right about right there and then right right there that's about good that's pretty good about right there right there okay now what you need to do is let go and click ellipse now you want to click the ellipse too. Alright, I'll do the marching ants. Now you want to make sure you're hovered over that. And go down to hold alt and click add layer mask and bang. It does that. It makes it green. Alright, now what you want to do to be able to move it and transition it and make it perfect. You just want to click that chain right there. And go to your move tool. And now, it be, now it's able to move. Now I'm gonna make it lined up perfect. Right there. Alright. There we go. Now what you wanna do and now you what you wanna do is go to add that nice gloss. The nice gloss you'll just wanna click new layer and drag it down right above the ellipse one. What you wanna do is go to your brush tool. Brush tool. And click, and click Alt, right click, hold in, hold in the right uh, click button. Now the, now whenever you go up and down, it will show the hardness. So it will do the hardness. It will do the hardness once you go up and down. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, now to go sideways, you'll make that pretty big, about 100, 100 pixels, and click Let Go. Now what you want to do is just click, just. I'll click right there. Alright. Alright, now what you want to do is go to your blend, mo blend modes and click overlay. And then I'll put that. I mean, it's lightened, but not too much. Alright, now. Now to make that additional, additional thing, you'll want to click. Or if you don't like, if you don't like the brightness of that gloss, you can just up and down just to show you that difference but I like the hundred percent so I'll leave it that and now what you want to do is go to create new layer and drag this to the very top now what you want to do is click this I mean click that little box right there go to control and click that and click that and click the ellipse one box the ellipse one square All right once it does the marching ants around you'll just go to elliptical, I mean, rectangular, rectangular marquee tool, and hold in alt, and it'll show the negative sign, and you'll just go halfway, about halfway, right there, and then now what you want to do is go alt, or you want to go to your layer 2, make sure you're hovered over that, 
and go to Alt Backspace, and I'll do that completely white. And what you want to do now is just go to change this to screen and drag the opacity down to however you want. I like it about right there, so I'm going to leave it there. And now, there you go, YouTube. The nicely, the professionally clean, glossy logo. Easily done. Nice and quick. Not too hard. Well, like, subscribe, drop a comment, favorite maybe. Alright, Bibwood Designs out.